Well, hey, everybody. This is Carmen Vertulo with the Fastener Training Minute coming to you from the Fastener Training Institute and AIM Testing Laboratory in beautiful El Cajon, California. A question came up recently regarding a product we all know as grade nine, grade nine bolts. What are grade nine bolts and where do they come from and how do we use them or misuse them? And what do you need to know about grade nine bolts? When we return, I'll tell you what I know. Searching for a hard-to-locate, fill-in, or oddball industrial fastener item? Get out to the FCH Sourcing Network at fastenersclearinghouse.com. FCH is the search engine for hard-to-locate fastener items. Free to use, over a million and a half fasteners. That's why we call it Scroogle. (laughs) It's the FCH Sourcing Network. Fastenersclearinghouse.com. Oh, and welcome back, everybody, to the Faster Training Minute. This is Carmen Vertulo, and today we're talking about grade nine bolts. Well, when I first came into this industry, I won't tell you how long ago that was, but it was a while back, we sold a product called F911 bolts, and they were made by a company called Foremost. They actually were sold by Foremost. They were made by Lake Erie. And they were very popular because they were stronger than grade eight bolts. In fact, they were as strong as an alloy steel socket head cap screw in the inch world. Now, a grade 8 bolt, the strength is 150,000 PSI. A socket head cap screw is 180,000 PSI in the smaller sizes and 170,000 PSI in the larger sizes. And that F911 product or grade 9 was advertised to give you a bolt, actually a heavy hex head cap screw, with the same strength as an alloy steel socket head cap screw. And it was very popular amongst those applications where higher strength was desired. Racing car builders like them, certain types of heavy equipment folks like them a lot. Now, if you've been in any of my classrooms, you may have heard me sort of speak out against this product because it doesn't meet any particular fastener specification. And there are lots of different versions or private label brands of them. And if you look around, I don't think the F911 has been around for a while, but now we have uh, the L9 product. We have the G9 product. I'm not going to necessarily endorse or say anybody's name who makes these. We have the PFC9 product and we have Bomaloy. And Bomaloy probably was the original version of this product. And actually, Bomaloy advertises up to 200,000 PSI tensile strength. So these are basically higher strength versions of a grade 8 bolt. And if we were uh, going into the metric world, we would have this product automatically available as a property class 12.9. It's one of the reasons you've probably heard me say that our metric fastener designs superior to inch in some regards they are. And this is one way they are because the steel fastener specification for metric product allows for a high strength property class 12.9, which is the equivalent of 180,000 PSI. So we don't need this product in the metric world. We only need it in the inch world. Now, Recently, ASTM has developed a few higher strength products. No one's manufacturing them, but there are some specifications available. So here's my opinion, and maybe this might not be in agreement with everyone, but if you need a product that is higher strength than grade 8, and the difference between a grade 8 and a grade 9, there's no such thing as a specification grade 9, that's just what we call them. If that makes that much difference to you, you probably ought to be looking a little bit closer at that design it might be better to just use a larger grade eight bolt. As well, most of these products come zinc plated. And anytime we zinc plate a product that has that high of a tensile strength, 180,000 PSI, we have a hydrogen embrittlement risk. Now this is a fairly sophisticated product. So the manufacturers probably do everything they're supposed to do to mitigate that risk by properly baking and testing the product. But if you were gonna use this in a critical application, and I would assume it would always be a critical application or you would not be concerned about that extra margin of strength, you would want to make sure that the product was properly processed. So if you're going to specify it in, find out from the supplier, how are these plated? How are they baked? How are they tested to make sure that you don't incur a hydrogen embrittlement risk? It's a very good product. If you're a fastener supplier, there's good margins. There's good money to be made. It's important, though, that you also know they generally are sold as a system. 
so that you'll be buying the bolt, the nuts, and the washers as an assembly because for a higher strength bolt, we need a higher strength nut. So the standard grade eight nut would not be appropriate for this bolt. Well, that's what I know about the PFC9s, L9s, G9s, F911, Bomaloy. If I left your favorite one out, I'm sorry about that. There's multiple different versions of these. And uh, if you're using them, you know how to get a hold of me, Carmen V at aimtestlab.com. And I would love to talk to you about your experience using grade nine. Well, this has been Carmen Vertulo with the Fastener Training Minute. Thanks for listening. The Fastener Training Minute with Carmen Vertulo is a regular feature of Fully Threaded Radio. The title sponsors of Fully Threaded Radio are Brighton Best International and Stellfast. Fully Threaded is also sponsored by Parker Fasteners, in SQL Software, and of course, the FCH Sourcing Network. Get out to fastenersclearinghouse.com.